Hello, welcome back to another video. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. For today's video, we are gonna be hopping on the very popular trend of tie dyeing things. Let me tell you guys before we even just get into this video, how hard it was to find the equipment, tools, supplies for tie dyeing. I was able to get my hands on four colors. One of them I had to order from Amazon, one of them I found at Target, one I found at Hobby Lobby, and another one I found at Michael's. It was so hard, everything was pretty much sold out. Um, yeah, so I really hope you guys appreciate this video because it was not easy to make. Also, let me just say, I totally understand why people charge like 50, 60 bucks for a nice tie-dye set because it is a process and you need lots of materials if you want to do it right. I'm going to show y'all how I tie-dyed all of that stuff back there plus the set I'm wearing right now. This set was the hardest one to do and took the most time but it was totally worth it because it is so cute. I'm not sure how the color is showing up on camera it looks like it's kind of washing it out maybe you guys can see a little bit of the dark but i'm going to do a full try on for you guys um, once i show y'all how i did everything over there you can see i stuck with pretty neutral colors there is one pop of pink and i really didn't want to do like the bright yellows oranges purples i really wanted to keep it super neutral so that's what this video is going to be i'll give you guys way more details as the video goes on um, i did all of this last night and just finished up this morning and and I'm so excited. The stuff came out really, really good. Yeah, but you guys will see all of that here in a second. I'll show you my exact process, how I did everything, and talk more about where I got all the supplies and the clothes and all of that. But let's go ahead and get into the video because it was a long process. I'm sure there's a lot of footage. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys after I show y'all how I did everything for a full try on. So you will need obviously the clothes that you want to tie dye. I got that nude set from Amazon. I think I already mentioned that. I got the three white crop tops from Target and the long sleeve, the pink and the white hoodie from Hobby Lobby. And then you're gonna need some trash bags just to lay out on the ground or put your clothes into afterwards. A pitcher for mixing up the dye. You have to add some dish, uh, what is that dish detergent? Dish soap to the mixture as well. And then you need your tie dye colors, of course, rubber bands, gloves, and then I got myself a little squirt bottle, um, which I found in the cake baking section at Michael's. So make sure to look there if you can't find it. And then you want to wash the clothes. I just threw them in for like a quick wash um, on cold and then dry those, take them out, and then you can get started. So here is my setup for where I wanted to tie dye. This was risky doing it in my apartment, but I just laid down two big towels that we don't really care about. And I split open two trash bags and taped them on the ground over top of that. And then I kind of organized what I wanted to tie dye with which color so I wouldn't get confused or mix up a color. And then, you know, I only had one squirt bottle, so I needed to do one color at a time. So I just labeled those. And then you wanna put in your pitcher almost boiling water, add about a teaspoon of the dish soap, and then add in your dye. I didn't measure it out. Obviously it gives you directions on the back. I just wanted it to be super dark. So this is what I did. I kind of eyeballed it. This is my first time. So just trial and error situation. And then I took this white uh, washcloth to test the color on and it was perfect. So I went ahead and poured that into this squirt bottle and got started. So I didn't do like the, the twist and a bunch of um, rubber bands look. I just kind of, what is this? Squished it, crinkled it, crinkled it up and loosely tied it into place and then started spraying on or squeezing on the dye. This one is the uh, graphite like charcoal gray color. This is the one that I started with. Yeah. 
Since this was my first time ever doing this, I just did a light coat first and I wanted to open it up and just see what it was looking like, if I needed to add some more or if it was good to go. And when I opened it up, I really liked what I saw. So I just kept that one as is. And then I went ahead and started on the pink top with again, the graphite color. And that was the only color, color I put on this shirt. As you guys will see later on, it came out so well. I really, really like this one. Um, and then when excess dye got on the trash bags, I would just use the shirts and like press, like what I just did there, like press it on. And it was a nice way of keeping everything clean. And also it would like give a cool, you know, design or whatever on the back. So. Um, yeah, just a little tip there if you don't want to, if you're about to switch to a different dye color, if you don't want to like mix it or anything, just kind of soak it up with the shirt you're working on. So that's how that one came out. Absolutely loved it. And then I just tied it back up. And when I was done with the shirts, I would put them in these bags and move on to the next one. So this is the nude matching set. The one that gave me the most trouble because the fabric wouldn't soak up the color. So. First, I did the uh, graphite color and let it sit for a while. When I took, when I take it back out later, you guys will see, you could just tell that the color was just not being absorbed into the fabric. So I did another round and then later that evening after hours, I took it back out, rinsed it and it still wasn't picking up the color. So that's when I added, like I washed it I dried it and then I added the dye color black and added some bleach and that's when it really came out exactly how I wanted it. So it all turned out well in the end, but it was kind of a process. And then this is the last section of shirts that I do with the graphite and then I think I move on to blue and then move on lastly to the taupe. And I don't film where I use the black dye because at that point I had been working on this for hours and I just added it to the nude set and uh, one other shirt, but it was obviously the exact same process. And then what else did I do? Oh, I did one shirt with like a bleach kind of tie dye, which you guys will see here in a second. And that turned out really cool as well. So I will end this voiceover for now and let you guys enjoy the tie dyeing. where I switched over to the taupe color. That tie dye was one that was like a powdered mixture and you had to add 
hot water and like four tablespoons of salt or something and it looks super dark in the bottle but as you can see when I'm pouring it onto the clothing it's like this light gray taupe and um, so it was exactly the color that I was hoping it would be and I thought it looked so good I loved the mixture of the blue the gray and the taupe so here's where I take the set back out and with all the other sets you could see that they were taking the color really well but like I said this or did I say this or did I say it later in the video I'm not sure but it wasn't this isn't a cotton set sorry I keep jumbling my words this wasn't a cotton set so it wasn't like soaking up the color so this was the second round and then I let everything sit for like several hours and when I rinse it later it just wasn't taking so um, it, see it looks so good right there and I love that look as well but honestly what I ended up getting now um, looks so cool too so it actually ended up working out and then this is where I do the bleach so all I did was I got this bleach from the 99 cent store and put half bleach half really hot water inside of that bottle and then just did it like I did with the regular tie-dye and it turned out so cool I love that top and then here in just a second, I'm gonna start rinsing everything out. This was hours later after I put everything in bags and set it outside and just let them sit for a little bit. Um, you have to rinse it in cold water until the water runs clear and then do a quick hot rinse and then wash them, dry them, and wear them. So you guys will see the final result here in just a little bit. All right, so this is the first set I'm gonna show you guys. Like I said, I ordered the uh, set from Amazon. That will be linked below. It was definitely the most expensive thing I got, but for the uh, little biker shorts and the top, I think it came out to about 25 or 26 bucks. Um, and I got it in the color nude, but as you can see, I used charcoal gray. That didn't work, so then I used black dye, and that kind of worked. And then along with the black dye, I used bleach. And that combo is what made it kind of look like this. Let me darken this up a bit so maybe it'll show up some more. You can kind of see it, it's very faint, but I really, really like it. It's kind of reminding me of like the sky, kind of like a cloud tie-dye vibe. It's really, really subtle, but it's so nice. Oh, you can kind of see it on the butt a little bit more. Yeah, it's really subtle, but in person it looks so good. And this set is so comfortable. But the reason it was so difficult was because this isn't like a cotton material. It's like kind of stretchy, almost like a little bit spandexy. So like it wasn't absorbing the tie-dye. I'm sure I've already said that in the voiceover for this video, but yeah, so this one was the most difficult and took the most time, but it's so worth it because it looks so good. I love the colors. I can already tell that I'm gonna be in this a lot and I think I'm gonna order another set in a different color um, and tie-dye that one as well. Or just kind of bleach it. I think a black set with like some bleach tie-dye on it would look so good. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this one. It's definitely my favorite. It's, it's just so comfortable and it looks so cute. You could dress it up with like some clear heels or do tennis shoes or whatever. So this one I really love. This is number one. Okay, so this top is the next piece. As you guys will see, the tops are pretty much all like blue tones and stuff, but they have 
one like different touch. This one I used a uh, blue and taupe, I think. And all the tops are like different uh, cuts and lengths and stuff. So I'll be mixing it up for sure. Um, and these sweatpants I just got from Forever 21 like a long time ago. But I thought that this was such a cute match. I only did um, one set, which was the t nude one that I showed you before. And the rest I just did tops that I could mix and match with sweatpants and shorts and leggings. And on Amazon I ordered a set of three biker shorts, a navy, a gray, and a black to mix all the different tops with. Um, I didn't want to do like full matchy matchy because I, I really like this kind of look right here. I do like the matching sets for sure, um, but I just, I'm really liking this and I can wear it with more stuff. So I really do like this top. I got this from Target. I think it was like between five and eight dollars and it's super cute. Not a whole lot to say about it, um, but I just really like the way that it turned out and the taupe actually came up pretty nicely right here. Let's see if it'll show. Yes, yeah, so that's the taupe and I think this is yeah, it's the blue, because obviously my shirt, it dyed the whole shirt kind of baby blue. But I really, really, really like this. It's the perfect crop top. I think it's a size medium. Yeah, really like this one. So let's move on to the next. Okay, here is the next top. I just threw it on with a pair of white shorts to show you guys like a little variation of outfits you could do with all the different tops. This I got at Hobby Lobby and I think it was like $8, super cheap. And on this one I used the graphite, the denim blue, and the taupe. Absolutely love this long sleeve, like obsessed with it. I can already tell I'm gonna be wearing this all through the fall and winter. I absolutely love this. It's so comfortable and it was so affordable. I definitely had a lot of fun tie dyeing this top. I really, really like it. And obviously you can throw this with sweatpants or leggings or biker shorts or whatever. It's so cute, so comfortable, and I love the way that the colors came out. Okay, here's the next top, and I am number one so obsessed with this combo. These uh, sweatpant joggers are from Nasty Gal. If I can find them, I will link them below. Um, but I do have a full Nasty Gal uh, try on and review, so I will link that above if you guys wanna watch that. But I absolutely love this top. This one um, I did twice. I originally did it with blue, taupe, and the graphite gray. Um, but after I rinsed it out, I realized like all my tops look so much alike and as I'm trying them on, I'm so sorry that they look all so similar, but I really like them anyway, so I guess that's all that matters. But for this one, I wanted to darken it up a bit so I could wear it with like joggers like this or black biker shorts or leggings and it kind of, you know, just mix better. So I went back in with the black dye and added it and I'm just so glad I did that because it looks so good. I love this. So it's just a crop top that comes down to about right here, but obviously I tied it up in a knot. It is so cute. It's seriously perfect. And I feel super cute in this outfit with like some tennis shoes, like so comfortable, super flattering. Absolutely love this. This is another top that I got from Target for between five to eight bucks. This might be the one that I got in the kids section. I got it in a large, um, so it would be cheaper. <laughs> but yeah, it's super cute. Really love this one. And really happy that I went in and added the black. Here's the next one. Love this one as well. I got this shirt yesterday at Hobby Lobby. I think it was about five to eight bucks, super cheap. Um, love the material, super comfortable shirt as well. I just kept on the joggers from Nasty Gal, but you could like, you know, tuck this under your sports bra and make it a crop, or you could tie it up, um, tuck it into like some high-waisted jeans or shorts. Love this so much, it's super simple, but I like that I got a pop of color with just a little bit of the, I think this was the graphite or black. I'm, I'm not totally sure, obviously, you've probably seen it in the video at this point, but I really do like this. It's so comfortable and yeah, this is really cute. I would throw this on with some like white tennis shoes 
and definitely rock this top. I really, really like the way that it came out. Okay, here is the next top. Probably forgetting the difference between all of them, but this one I believe I used graphite, um, I think taupe and blue, or just graphite and blue. I, I totally forget. Let me show you guys the difference in the color. So this is the first one I tried on. This one just has taupe and I believe blue, um, but it could be gray, I don't know. This one's the one that I added the black in, and then this one is the taupe uh, gray and blue. And then there's this one, which I believe is just blue and gray. So they all look a little bit different. Um, they're not all exactly the same, but they look enough alike to where I couldn't wear them all like back to back in a week. Um, I'll just have to like mix it up. But regardless, I still love it. I love the way that this one turned out. I just rolled it up and tucked it into my sports bra. And I think this is super cute. Also, these joggers are like going with everything. I cannot wait to get my biker shorts. They're supposed to be here today. I feel like that combo like with the gray biker shorts will look super cute gray or navy blue to like bring out the blue tones in here. I like when it doesn't like perfectly match. I think I already mentioned that, but yeah. So this is the next top. I have two more things to try on and then we will close this out. I totally should have tanned before this video, but that's all right. Um, this is the next top that I did. This is a top that I've had for a long time, um, like a vegan apparel brand sent it to me, I think like two years ago. And obviously it was just plain black before. Maybe you guys have seen it on my channel or on my Instagram. All I did with this one is I put uh, half water, half bleach into that bottle that I was using to tie dye and just put it all over. And I absolutely love this. I love that it's like brown and black. Super cool, love the colors. Um, yeah, not a whole lot to say about this one. This one was definitely the easiest. If you have like any black crop tops, get some bleach, spray it on there or whatever, and you have yourself a cool tie-dye top. So I really like this one. Like I said, not a whole lot to say, but it's super cute and I do love the way that it turned out. So here is the hoodie that I did and I am obsessed with it. I am going to wear this so much. It's so comfortable. It's just a cheap sweatshirt from Hobby Lobby, but it's really cozy. It's a medium and it did shrink a little bit, but that's all right. That's why I got a bigger size, but super cozy. I love the way that it came out. How cute is this? I will definitely be wearing this all through fall and winter. Keep an eye out for it. You guys will definitely see this multiple times. I love it so much. It's so cute. I'm glad that I just kept it simple and only used the blue. Um, yeah, really, really, really love this hoodie. I'm so glad that I got this yesterday. All right, y'all, that is going to conclude the video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and comment below your favorite piece from this tie-dye DIY situation. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.